Hi, this is Prison Architect with a tape, and today you join me, well, with a black screen, just loading Prison Architect, but you join me for the start of my brand new series of Prison Architect, in which I build and run a prison, and you get to see every step of the way. That sounds wonderfully fun and not boring. Please watch. But anyway, um, parts of this have been sped up a bit, because I do a lot of planning, because I like getting it right. I'll just close that, that's annoying. Um, right, so... First thing to do is stop prisoners coming because they always come too quickly and <laughs> they always um, enter my prison too quickly and um, then uh, and then it's not finished and they get angry because they don't have stuff and then they kill my guards and then people bleed and then I got angry and then I kill the prisoners and stuff goes wrong. Anyway, I'm going to move the garbage down there so that I can have a nice symmetrical entrance made with three fences. Um, so I can have a double prison door and everything will be fine. Uh, and then I, um, this is post-commentary, just so it won't be perfectly synchronized. Anyway, um, so I decided to put it there, but then actually that's stupid because I haven't fully designed the prison yet. Um, and I'll get rid of that defense. Uh, this is all at one time right now. Um, so the first thing I decide to do is... Um, after those fences is build the power stuff because uh, the power and water because that's fundamental and prisoners get pretty angry when they don't have human rights <sighs> they shouldn't have uh, shouldn't have messed with me anyway the annoying thing about this screen is you can't see where everything else is so it's really difficult to place them but it's fine I put them below the garbage and it's all fine and it'll need some capacitors I'll put a couple in I haven't bothered with grants yet, I want to keep as many grants as possible to late so I can kind of have money in reserve. Um, so I just start uh, doing a tiny bit of planning. This planning isn't sped up because it doesn't take too long, I don't think. Um, I've only had a quick scan through it in editing. <laughs> I'm so efficient. But anyway, that should be of a sufficient size um, to have a holding cell and a small entrance hall um, because I like them to enter and then see a holding cell and then it'll go off into other parts of the prison and I'm deciding that's efficient nice move which it isn't because um for some reason can't count uh, and I don't even notice it in planning I, I build it first so uh, anyway I'll get the building of the first thing done once my workers are just at a bit of a loose end right now walking around or whatever the hell. Um, anyway, connecting utilities, connecting up my water, it needs power to do stuff because it's an electrical pump. <sighs> if your water is not g not working, add electricity. Nothing ever goes wrong when you combine electricity and water. But don't don't ever like listen to anything I say. It's it'll kill you. But <laughs> on a brighter note, that's looking almost finished. Um so I'll put the walls in. Uh, oh no, I'll put some doors in. Put the first door, make it nice and secure. Yeah, that kind of rhymes in a bit. Hire some more workers so that my job gets done faster. I'm an efficient man, so I waste money. And that's nicely done. Um, I think people are putting in the cable right now, so those lights will start working. Uh, then I'll build the wall. Now I'm still getting to grips with where, where everything is. I haven't had this that long. I haven't pleaded as much as I thought I would because I've been playing a surprising amount of KSP. I play a lot of KSP, maybe too much KSP. You can never play too much KSP. I have a problem. <laughs> anyway, luckily I put the door there because I realize that's not big enough and I have to extend it. But anyway, it will need a bench. It will need an electric chair. Nah, joke. It'll probably need a toilet. Or they'll get angry. And a bookcase because I'm nice. And a window because I'm even nicer. See, I'm virtually the best person in the world. Anyway. Um, that's looking done, so I'm going to label that my holding cell. Oh, problems. Yeah, they probably haven't put all the stuff in yet, so it'll be all... Then I realize, ah, oh, crap, that's that's not quite big enough. It needs to be 5x5, five five, not 4x5. So, quickly demolish those walls, waste a whole bunch of money. It's fine, that's how the system works. Um, and then put in one little bit more of brick wall. Concrete wall costs the same. Don't know the appeal, maybe... I think for a high security, I'd use concrete wall. It m looks more dire. Um, you can see they're all already muddying up my bloody floors, because I don't have a cleaner yet. I think you can hire your prisoners to clean, but when I did that in mine, they just stayed in the cleaning closet and puffed bleach. I don't know, they're all terrible people. Now I want to move my toilets because I'm an OCD psychopath. 
And now I'm actually going to have a slightly bigger holding cell, but it's better bigger than smaller because uh, there are no restraints. So I'm just having all my stuff dismantled because because you can't just move it, you have to dismantle it, then replace it. Uh, see, I'm doing that, so that toilet will be probably moved to where I tell it to, and so will the bookcase. I will make the holding cell of a sufficient size. The game will stop yelling at me in a bit. But it will indeed need water, so there goes my big ass pipes. And then some little pipes, save some money. Which, actually, it, yeah, that's probably best for now. Um, and with yeah, still at one times or thereabouts. And now they're all putting in the pipes. This is pretty slow right now, but I like to take it slow at first. I do speed things up, it will get more exciting in a bit. I'm thinking about putting fence in, then realize I haven't really fully designed my prison yet, I won't bother. Um Right. And now I decide oh now this is gonna slip into two times as I plan my cells at the two times speed because planning my cells takes a while. Okay, yeah, now we're in two times, so I'm just planning on where they'll be. Yeah, I think that's a fine speed. Um, because they need to be at least three by two, so I'm just making sure this is of the correct size because I hate having different size cells that looks like the right width, at least, to have um, a little uh, passageway alongside. And I'm just designing each cell one by one, then realize, screw that, I don't have to do that. I'll just do the sizes of the cells. And then I realize, yeah, it's a little small, uh, as you can see. I'm just quickly making sure that is a cell. And then I'm trying to work it out here. This is why I sped up two times. This takes a little while. Then I realize it needs to be two bigger at the top. So that's nicely planned quite quickly. Doesn't waste any money. And then put that in, and we're back to one times. But it's still paused for some reason. Oh yeah, I paused it to save time. Don't know why. Actually, to save money on paying workers and delete my planning and put an entrance in put an entrance in. Not rooms, objects, small jail door because I have no money. Oh, I just spent all of my 10 grand. Right, let's get a grant. Let's just get the basic grant because that also gives me some goals, which is good. Right, that's 40 grand. Most of it's already gone on that. I built a massive prison cell right now. I'm only going to build eight, no, around nine set. I think I build nine cells, but that's what fits in the row. Um, so I don't want to build too many right now because I want to conserve money um, and build it up slowly and I only have to bring in eight prisoners the first time so I'm just going to build a minimum amount of cells or thereabouts to conserve money because I've made the mistake before of just rushing in, spending all my money and being screwed for ages. So they're building. Um, that should be done pretty soon. They have to lay down the foundations. I'm just going to quickly save the prison. Uh, pick a name. Um, I will call it... Well, you can see I've got Shawshank Exemption up there. It was really easy for the guy to get out. <laughs> But um, let's call it a. Let's call it. Um, oh, names are terrible for me. Something serious or funny. Um, hmm. Uh, this is taking longer than I thought. Um, I did actually pick a name. Let's call it Happy Fun Fun. No, oh, Happy Fun Times Prison. Oh, Happy Fun Fun Prison. Because it'll be so happy fun and not super murdery. Yay! Um, right, so that's that saved up. Um, I think they've almost laid down the foundations, and I am going to start. While they're doing that, I'm going to plan my canteen and kitchen. Plan, not build, because I'll screw it up, no doubt. So, um, yeah, let's plan. This is in two times again. You can probably tell by the clock. I want to have a little. Um, hallway where my guys can walk, make it a little wider. Just this is planning the size of cookers um, and s and fridges, and then this is the size of sinks. I'm just kind of planning how much space I need that looks sufficient. Just planning for doors, um, making it making maximum use of the space. Planning for serving tables, make it one larger because I want some serving table space. Oh no, two larger so I can fit more crap in. And I'll probably fit another sink there and more serving tables. That'll work out great. They finished building that. That's good. Um, got my planning. Just build that. I know roughly what I need to do. Probably not quite as big as it should be but I'll start off small and extend it later. Right, that cost almost three grand. 
good, good. Uh, get rid of my planning, make it look less messy. No, no, other way. There you go. Um, what am I doing? Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, I just deleted my foundations. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, that's that's a waste of three grand. Yeah, that's that's not great. I think this one's smaller. Ooh, that was that was a good move. Nice one. It'll be fine. I don't need three grand. It's fine. Anyway, they've finished up on that. So let's start utilitying things, but not in the cells because I haven't built that yet. I need to visualize it first. Um, let's put a staff door in where the hallway will be, but that for some reason doesn't count as an entrance. So we'll put a door anyone can get into so that the prisoners have an easy time getting food there. Um, and that'll be nice. That'll be fine. Um, right. What do I need now? I think I'll just let them build that, I believe. Um, take a quick drink. Talking braiders, you know, need a drink. Um, and there you go, that's that's nicely built. Right. So I've got the building set up. So instead of building more buildings right now, I'll just put the cells in. And you can see I'm kind of building buildings and then leaving the buildings. And then building stuff in other buildings. It's my process. I it's more logical in my head than on paper or on a computer screen so yeah oh they're all running in with their bricks like oh we better build this um or he'll put us in the prisons once one of the security guy one of the workers kind of annoyed me so i left him in solitary i'm a terrible person as you will see in prison architect i'm actually i'm actually kind of good i mean i don't give people bookcases in all their cells but i'm i'm all right i mean when there's a problem, I look at their problems, I look at the prisoners' problems, rather than how much I can beat them, or put them in electric chairs. I've never actually put someone in an electric chair in sandbox. I kind of want to see if I... do I get to pick, or do I, I get sent people to kill, or if someone displeases me, do I just execute them? That seems kind of brutal, but kind of useful. Anyway, let's start furnishing them. They need to at least a bed and a toilet. Fairly simple. Solitary can be all solitary needs is solitary has no requirements except I think indoors. So I could just get a one square of wall and put a, any door on it. Not even a door. Don't even need that. It's just so little needed for it. I just some, where someone can be alone and go crazy. And there, oh, that was really inefficient. I just wasted like two hundred bucks. I could have joined it from that other pipe. I didn't. I somehow didn't see that. Um. Not doing great. Yeah, but anyway, that should be fine. I have money, and I've left all those grants. I'm doing this fairly money efficiently. Money efficiently? Economically. Oh, God, I'm probably going to be a business student when I'm older. I can't even think of words. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm probably... Yeah, that's good. Um, Right, let's get focus on the game rather than how much I'm going to fail my degree. Um, right, they're putting in the pipes, um, you can see they haven't put them in yet, that toilet needs water, doesn't have water, the electric it, electricity isn't here, everything's flashing and being angry at me. There's some electricity in there, but not all of it. And uh, what do I decide to do now? More planning? Um, somehow more planning of... Oh yeah, uh, planning the shower block, we're now in two times, I'm thinking of putting the shower block there. Um, that should work. And then, however, it might be better to have it next to the cells, because it doesn't need to be that big, and it would be near the water supply, and just easier to get to in the mornings, because I tend to put the showers in the mornings for the prisoners. So there, although that looks a little big and a little expensive, and I've already wasted quite a bit of money. And I don't think it needs to be that big, so bring it in there, that should be fine. Um, there's a lot of planning, so I do put almost all of the planning at two times, so you don't have to watch all oh, that's yard planned. Um, that was easy. And put a jail door in there. Um, and let's put the fences here, back to one times now. Um, put the fences so they can't escape, quickly secure some things. Um, right. 
and now put the fence around the yard for a yard it just needs to be outdoors and so, uh, and have like just behind a door so generally fenced and with a door I usually use just a normal door because I don't think prisoners should be restrained in a max security I think I would use almost all prison and staff doors but for this I think they should be allowed to move freely a bit so they don't well mainly to save time especially when I put a sawmill in I like them to be able to move freely and not and so that they can be efficient and things and it's just saves time than guards having to open the doors or me having to open the doors and now I can technically hold five prisoners it will soon be nine so that's looking fairly bad for a prison and I do leave it at nine in this video because this is just the basic build the first part of my build um, I'll bring prisoners in next episode and build my prison up as I need it that's how I'm doing it today today this series um, right so now building the kitchen counting out where it needs to be leaving space for the door cutting space for the door there don't want to waste materials and then delete them and waste time I'm all about efficiency there staff doors stop the reprobates getting in and killing my chefs let's call them something racially stereotypical Pierre and Francois or Pierre and Luigi okay let's not get racially stereotypical <laughs> although I'm sure French and Italian I do love French and Italian food so that wasn't racist that was just I'm gonna stop um <laughs> right so that's on the build putting water and electric in there because I'll probably need that have to pay a whole bunch of water and electric Obviously, I should actually probably put switches on my electricity because in the day, actually no, I don't have any windows. But I mean, when people aren't in their cells, do they need electricity? No. So I should probably start switching it off. I think I might address that in the next episode. Make it super money efficient. I'll be like, um, okay, there is literally. Um, just take a look at the grants. Oh, I don't need that money right now, but I'm just seeing what I can have and I'll get money for cell block A anyway after I've done my cell block but as I was saying there is literally no example for what I was talking about about a cash grabbing prison warden I mean there is just I don't think that's ever been a TV series or a film nope anyway oh no actually Shawshank that guy um, the warden takes bribes to stop doing stuff so yeah so but let's let's not make this like Shawshank Redemption. That was that was a that was a grim film, but a great film. Anyway, let's uh, focus on building this prison rather than films and references and whatever the hell else I was talking about. So um, there's a big empty space there that will soon be filled with cells when I'm getting money from federal. Uh, I already get federal grants from prisoner grants. They pay me more for more prisoners I have, um, which is good, and I can get the prisoners to work eventually in a sawmill. Not a sawmill. Some... no. A sawmill? Does it even have them anymore? I don't even... yeah, probably. But for me, they make license plates, and I sell the license plates and spend it on execution for the prisoners who misbehave. However, the problem is with contraband, they can steal... and you can get them to work in kitchens and stuff, but they can steal, like, knives and stuff, but... yeah, I... Whenever I do a shakedown, a lot of the time in my prisons, my prisoners have like guns and shotguns and crazy things. I mean, you can understand that they get a knife or a shank or a bat or something like that. But who, what, do they, do the visitors bring in the, because you can have a visitation ward. I mean, do their visitors bring in guns for them? I mean, it's ridiculous. Who gets a gun into a prison? Except like on My Name is Zola where, where that one guy got a, got like a pipe gun. But that was like one pipe gun and he made it. I mean that makes sense, but but I mean what the f what the frig are you frack for the you know? Okay, that looks fine. Maybe try and squeeze another fridge in. No, there literally isn't space. And I'm thinking, nah, it's good. We're good. We've got enough fridges. I'm pretty sure we don't, but uh, but it's fine. There comes a truck with with nothing on it. That's just uh, maybe a garbage truck. Uh, yeah, so let's name that a canteen and that the kitchen. Um, just getting that all kitted out. I swear this looks faster than one time speed. It's not, but 
it might just be my screen recorder being a dick um, anyway so I need to give the fridge and cookers a dedicated supply source they can't run off wires they have to run off massive cables because um that's because they need more power same with an electric chair but I won't put one of them in my kitchen because I mean fried prisoner that's a little far I mean I, I don't give brilliant quality me meals but forced cannibalism that's well that's that's pretty fucked up um <laughs> anyway god I go off on tangents if that annoys you please just tell me I might change it probably won't but still yell at me all you like Although I don't actually get that many comments on videos, so people probably won't yell. Anyway, those are my serving tables placed. That's what is needed for stuff, and I'll put some tables and benches down because I'm a lovely person. Even though when I talk, it sounds awful, and and it's usually about murdery things. But anyway, those tables and benches, not many, but enough for some people to eat. Well, eat comfortably. They can eat standing up or in their cell, but if they eat in their cell, they're going in solitary. I don't know why, but um, but then they'll have to take forks back, and technically a fork is a weapon on this game. People steal forks and stab people with forks, or make shivs out of forks. Fork no longer sounds like a word. It's a half an hour video and I'm running out of things to talk about. But anyway, yeah, so... So yeah, we've got the benches in, we've got stuff in, I think that's every... I think we've built... have we built the shower? Yeah, no, the shower will be built in a second. It says shower, so if people were here, they would be very angry that the shower wasn't happening. They'd all be sitting in their cells, stinking like hell. Um, so 1600 bucks. let's build that right now. Let's give them a door so they can access it freely. I may leave a garden there to stop them killing each other. I think a camera seems a bit too rapey, so I'm probably just going to leave a garden there. Cause, okay, that's some cooks. We'll probably need some cooks. Let's not put the guards in yet, because I don't want to pay them for stuff they're not doing. Right, that's uh, that's that down. This is all at two times because this takes quite a while, even the build. Um, so let's fit out the lights. I shouldn't have put so many small pipes leading up to that toilet in the holding cell because the big pipes are there. But anyway, let's put all these down. That's all them. This is why it's better up because this was tedious and always is. And put it there. No, that's not symmetrical enough. Let's take it away. Um, yeah, so let's just link all that up. That should be fine. As, yeah, you can see I've used too many small pipes to get to that um, little toilet because those big pipes weren't there before in the holding cell. But it, fuck it, it's fine. Um, I'm swearing a lot more now. That's ah, fine. You guys are cool. Probably I have no idea. Um, right, so they're fitting all that out. Some, some of the either those shower heads aren't in, or they have water. It won't one or the other. It's fine. Right, what do I need right now? Um, yeah, there's not much else I. Can can do. Actually, a warden's office would be good. That has to be 4x4, four four, so if I build foundations of 6x5, that other wall will act as it, and I'll have a 4x4 four four office. But you do need, a, do need a warden for unlocking all kinds of crazy stuff, and changing the regime. I like to have control over the regime of the prison. Let's give it some doors, and let's let him get there. Although he never leaves his office bit, you know, give the door in the corridor if someone needs to go there, I don't know. Um, I don't know where to put the fences. Shall I put them up there, preempt it, or mm, I don't think I need to put it up there right now. Um, I'll do that in a bit. When I I kind of don't want to build too much stuff, or too many fences and things. When I don't know how big my prison's going to be, I kind of it needs to be secure at least. Right, let's call that an office. That's going to need a desk, a chair, and a filing cabinet, I believe. Yep, that's something I actually remember. Don't know which way that should go. Right now, I think I was staring at the screen. Um, yeah, that looks fairly well orientated. Shall I put it there or there? There you go. I would spend too much time doing stupid stuff rather than actually focusing on important things. But anyway, you'll need a filing cabinet. Those will be put in. That'll be a decent thing. Let's hire the warden. That cost a lot of money. So much money. I don't like spending money. But anyway, yeah, have to spend money. I've still got 13 grand, and I've only taken one grand. And when I improve my cell block slightly I'll get like 20 or 30 grand just straight away for building those cells so you know I want to keep some grants in reserve like do what they need so when I need it so when I need more money I can just click them and get all the money and don't have any challenges because I want to keep money 
Anyway, that'll need a little bit of electricity. Just seeping into the office. He's in darkness right now, wondering, Oh God, what if I get murdered in the dark by the reprobate prisoners? Although there's no prisoners in here right now, so he shouldn't be worrying. He's just a drama queen. Okay, let's make this secure so prisoners can't run away, because that'd be really bad. Really freaking bad. And if they somehow punch through all those, because they'll punch through doors when they want to escape, it'll make it difficult for them to escape, because I've got lots of prison doors and staff doors. It's I like to have lots of doors between the prisoners and freedom, because a lot of the time in my prisons they get angry at me, and we're all like, whoa, okay, I'm gonna freaking rage out and kick your ass, and they punch through doors and escape, and I hate having prisoners escape. I think there should be some kind of penalty in like Alpha 13, I think this is Alpha 12 right now, probably. If not, I've been tagging my videos wrong. Now, let's pick some flooring for the warden's office. Yeah, give it wooden floor, yeah, it's 50 quid square, but it's a small space, and he's the warden. And, you know. I, I'm surprised how long and how much money it takes to research cleaners, because my prison gets so freaking dirty before I get cleaners. It's ridiculous. Anyway, that's looking nice. Um, thinking about putting other stuff in other places, but that's fine. I mean, that's pretty much done. Those guys rush to build the fences. Right, um, that is done for now. As I say, I will build my set, the rest of my cells in later episodes, because I want to gradually build it up. I built most of the cell block right now, just, just cars. Let's hire my guards right now. Oh, exceeds daily budget. That took away the drama. Let's just fire one of these guys. Yeah, yeah, you're no longer a guy. So we'll hire him. Right, so in the next episode, we will be bringing in the prisoners and probably building more cells, making the generally developing the prison. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, if you want, if you like the video, please like the video. If you want to see more this or KSP or any other games I'll be playing in the future, please subscribe. Um, this has been KSP with Tape. I will see you next time.